to uh, in time. Just follow that emotion and one, you're there now. There we go. Yes, allow your body to feel everything it needs to feel. There we go, that's it. That's it. If you want to cry, just cry. In that memory, is it day or night? I don't know. You don't know. Very good. Continue. Is are you inside or outside? I can't tell. Just know what I feel sad. How do you feel there? I just feel sad. I feel sad. Feel that sadness. Yes. And where do you feel this sadness? Yes. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Allow your body to feel that sadness. And if you know, where is that sadness coming from? What is happening? Yes. I just don't know. I don't. I feel so sad. So feel your body. What does your body feel when you feel sad? Where do you feel that in your body? My chest. My chest. Yes. yes, and your chest feels like, like what is happening to your chest? This is similar to, to what? It feels heavy. Heavy, very good. Feel this heaviness in your chest. And this heaviness that you feel in your chest feels like, like what will be happening to your chest if you know? I feel so heavy. Uh, I don't know. Yes. But... I will count from three to one. I want you to go to that moment where you feel your chest heavy on your side. Three, <clears throat> two, one. You are there now. If you know, even if you think you're making it up. Where are you now as you feel sad and your chest is heavy? Where are you now? Yes. Let's see where I am. I just feel sad. Yes. yes. Just feel sad. That where you are, I feel if you just feel. You don't want to see, but you can feel if you're inside or outside. Yes. I don't know where I am. Yes. Then don't see anything. Very good. And here, use all your senses. See if you feel standing or sitting as you're sad. If you know, yes. Yes, well, how does it feel? Yeah. I, I don't know, I, I can't tell. I cannot tell. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, no problem. I am going to come from <clears throat> three to one. And I want you to go to the last time. You feel exactly the same way, sad, and your chest heavy. I want you to look for that memory. Three, two, one. You are there now. See if you know, where are you now? Which memory is this? Yes. Could be a recent memory, could be from your childhood. I see. 
Yes. I'm almost seeing a face. I'm almost seeing a face. Very good. Continue. Continue. Um, a little bit more. Whatever comes to your mind. Don't analyze it. Yes. I don't see much. I see darkness. Yes. I don't want you to see. I want you to look for a memory, maybe a recent memory, maybe from your childhood. Just a memory where you felt mm -hmm. sad and and the heavy chest. From this life, these yeah. memories. Three, two, one. You are there. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just see my mother very upset. Very good. I see my mother very upset. Continue. Just very upset and angry and yes. I'm very confused and I'm taking it so personal. I don't know why she's so upset all the time. Why can't she just oh. just just be nice? You know, like can there ever be a smile on her face? Yes. You know, how old are you there? I think I'm 12. I'm 12. Let's continue. And your mom is upset and you're confused. And what else is happening? That She's just looking at me. Yes. You know, side-eyed. You know, just... Yeah. Like if I did something wrong and I did it, I was just a child. I was just yes. a kid. Yes, and how do you feel there? Um, I feel like everything's my fault. Continue. A little bit more. Continue. Allow that little girl to cry. Everything's my fault. Why? Let me talk to your father, to your mother for a moment. I will come from three to one. Lend your mind and lips to her. Three, two, one, change. Gloria, what is going on with, with Naomi? Why is she crying? Mm -hmm. Why is she crying? Why are you upset with her? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just upset. You're just upset. Yes, I know. But there's got to be an explanation why you're upset. What is happening to you? Yes. What is what is going on in your life, Gloria? Nobody made this decision. Nobody made this decision. What decision? I don't know why I made it. Well, why you made it? What decision are we talking about? To, to, to live with my family. And, to live with your family. And, and not, you know, make my own life with my own, my own, daughters right in that answer you just gave me is very interesting you're just saying i don't know why i made that decision you made it why are you upset with naomi if you're the one that made that decision because my life's a mess and yes i don't know. i <sighs> I can't. And your life is a mess because? Because I I chose it that way, but yes. I blame it on, on my family. I, I just wish she was she would understand that that yes. I, I I just don't it's it's just I'm so angry. I just, yes. just don't. I want her to understand. Yes. But, and what is what is the best way for people to understand you? 
isn't it maybe communicating with them? Being upset, just, you're just confusing your daughter. She doesn't understand why you are so angry. You're angry with yourself because you made decisions, not her. You're making her, making her feel guilty. You're making her feel confused. And that's going to confuse her when she gets to be older. Why don't you tell her why you are so upset? She's listening. Um, yes. I don't know. I, I, I want my life to be better. Yes. And I, I just don't know how to tell her that, that it's 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 not her fault. Okay. But it's 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 my own mother yes. put me in this position. Your own mother put you in that. Okay. So now you're talking about your mother, you're talking about you. How is it that Naomi gets in the picture. She doesn't, she's not at fault for everything you're feeling, everything that is happening in your life. You're upset with everybody, including her. And she hasn't done anything to you. How do you think this makes her feel? Sure makes her feel sad. Yes, so, so talk to her. Explain to her that you're frustrated with yourself. You're frustrated with your mother. Please don't take this personally. I am sorry if I made you feel this way, but this is not about you. You can tell her anything like that. She's listening. Sorry, I'm putting you through this. Yes. I wanted to give you a better life. I feel so disappointed in myself. I'm so, I'm sorry. Listen, Naomi, what would you like to tell your mom? Just tell her how you feel. Mom, I wish you loved you show me more love. Yes. I wish I just want a hug from you. All I get is you looking at me and, and just making judgment of me and just I just want a hug from you. Just just want some reassurance from you that you love me. Or is this something you can do for your daughter? Can you give her a hug? <laughs> Gloria, were you, were you treated that way when you were taught? <laughs> no? Yes. My yes. Mother. How do you... <clears throat> How did you feel when you were treated that way? How do you feel, Gloria, when you were treated that way at 12 years old? Oh, my mother was so focused on just getting things done. Yes. And saw us as a burden. Yes. Aren't you making the same mistake, kind of? Why are you doing the same thing to your daughter if you experienced it yourself and didn't like it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so why don't you apologize to Naomi and give her a hug? This started with your mother and then you made it yours and now you're transferring to your daughter. What's going to happen when Naomi gets to have her kids. She's going to transfer that to them. When is this going to end?
Naomi, I want you to ask your mom to give you this motherly energy that she was not able to give you. You tell her, it's my energy. I deserve it. It's mine. And I want you to give me this motherly energy that you have not been able to give me. You tell her that. Mom. I just want you to, to be my mom, to, to show me love and to show me that you care about me. Yes. All I want, you know, I didn't do anything wrong all these years. Yes. I never did wrong. Ask her to give you your energy back. Mama. The energy she has not been able to give you, the motherly feminine energy she has not been able, able to give you. Mom, I, I want my energy back. I want, I want that nurturing energy. That That's it. I want you to nurture me. I want you to love. You know, I want my energy because yeah. I want it. I just want you to give it back. Very good. So once you're ready, just extend your arms and bring your energy back to your soul. This is your energy. That's it. Take your energy. It's rightfully yours. Just extend your arm your arms and bring that energy back to your soul. <clears throat> yeah, so let me know when it is back, once it is back. I think I have my energy back. Very good. So keep your energy back. And <clears throat> this reminds me about two teachers that I had at school, Mr. Brown and Mr. Smith. Mr. Brown was a very negative man, always upset, always mad. Here, everything was, don't do this, don't do that. This is not right. Very negative. And Mr. Smith was, a, I mean, Brown is a negative and Mr. Smith is a positive teacher. Everything was, yes, that's the way to do it. This is perfect. This homework looks really good, but if you make a change here, it's going to be perfect. From those two teachers, we learn how to do things. From Mr. Brown, how not to do things. And from Mr. Smith, how to do things. So it seems that who you have in front of you, Naomi, being, being 12 years old, so young, is a teacher of how not to do things. You already know what doesn't work. What have you learned from this experience with your mother? I've learned that that's not who I want to be. Exactly. And you learn this lesson, beautiful lesson, at this age. You're 12. And if you think about it, you should be grateful to your mom because you learned who exactly you don't want to be like. And just because of that, your kids are going to have an excellent mother. And because of that, your grandkids are going to have an excellent grandmother. Because you learn a beautiful lesson. You already know what doesn't work. All you can do from where you are is send your love and compassion to your mom. She's a student in this planet called, in this school called Planet Earth. So you, you can only wish for her to learn her lesson and evolve, but you learned a beautiful lesson. Where is this sadness that you were feeling? Where have you been keeping this sadness all these years? Where is it? In my chest. In my <laughs> chest, yes. And what color is that sadness for you? I don't know. Blue, maybe. Blue, maybe. Or just feel whatever color. I want you to pull that sadness from your chest. 
and I want you to send it back to the universe. You no longer need this. Send it back to the universe. Wow, I can feel it leaving. Yeah, that's how it's had an expiration date. It said there, and I can see the label. You need to consume this within 30 days. You kept it all these years. All these years. Besides, when it's time for you, when you grow up and get to be 35, 36, and you have your own kids, are you nurture them? Are you going to breastfeed them? How are you going to breastfeed them with all that sadness in your, in your chest, in your heart? What are you going to feed them from? So let's remove that sadness from there. It doesn't belong in that place. And you, and you can put something beautiful instead. In that empty space where that sadness was, what would you like to put instead? Just love. Yeah. Just love. Right, yeah. and what, what color is love for you? Uh, beautiful pink. Pink, excellent. So I want you to put pink love in your chest. And from now on, feel this love. And be happy. Just send love to your mom. And forgive your mom because it's like walking on the streets and you see a blind woman walking by you and she bumps into your arm. Would you get upset with her? Why not? Why? Of course, you have your mom that is spiritually blind at this moment. She cannot see. She doesn't realize what she's doing. She's not doing because she's a bad person. She's doing it because she doesn't know. She doesn't see. Would you like to forgive her? So hard, but yeah. It's so hard, but for, forgiving doesn't mean forgetting, doesn't mean becoming friends, doesn't mean to stop seeking justice. Forgiving means that today you're going to stop drinking a poison, bottle of, bottle of poison that is only killing you. It's like this woman that went to the mountains looking for a witch. Hey, witch, I want you to prepare this powerful poison because I want to kill my enemy. And the witch said, okay, this is not a problem. So she prepared a poison and gave it to her in a little bottle and said to her, just give this poison a little bit each day to your enemy and your enemy will be dead soon. A week later, two weeks later, this same woman came back looking for the witch. Hey, you witch. You have lied to me. I've been drinking this poison the way you told me. And look at me. I have no hair. My teeth are falling. My skin is dry. I am dying. And my enemy is having a happy life. And the witch said to her, but you're stupid. I told you to give the poison to your enemy, not to drink it yourself. And when you don't forgive, you're drinking a poison that is only killing you and only you. You're leaving you so trapped in that experience for no reason. And you feel all the sadness that your soul is feeling at 12. Because for your soul, the time doesn't exist. Would you like to forgive now? I'll forgive her. Of course, just forgive her. I'll take her to my arms and love her. Yes. And if you want to cry about that one more time, just do it. Let all those tears come out for the last time. Just wear that sadness out. And you let me know when that sadness is gone completely. Is he gone now? Yeah, I feel light, lighter. Very good. So with that feeling of feeling light and, and forgiving and feel happy and that pink love in your chest, I'm going to count from five to one. And I want you to look for another 
memory. Allow your soul, let your soul go wherever it needs to go, where there's something pending, something it needs to heal. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. You are there now. See if you know where are you now. Yes. That uh, allow your body to feel what is happening in that memory. Yes. Continue a little bit more. In that memory, is it day or night? Yes. I think it's daytime. It's daytime. Very good. What is happening? Continue. Yes. Yes. What is happening? Yes, that's it, continue, continue. Continue, yes. What is happening, happening there if you know? Yes. A little bit more, tell me about it. Yes. Yes, yes allow your body to feel everything, what is happening? Yes. What is happening? Continue. Are you inside or outside? I can't tell. It's, it's, it wants to come, but I, I, I can't. See. Oh, you don't see, just feel. Mm -hmm. Feel. What do you feel is happening? Feel. Yeah. Allow your body to feel your emotions. Um, yeah. Continue. Trying. To... Sorry. <laughs> Trying. Oh, you don't, need, you don't need to try, and I'll show you. Going to count <clears throat> from three to one. And I want you to go back to one of those memories when you feel this social anxiety getting with people. I want you to go to the last time you felt it. I will count from three to one, and you will be there. Three, 
two, no one. Yeah, there now. Yes, what is happening there? Like everyone's looking at me. Everybody's looking at me. Yes, continue. I'm scared to talk. Mm -hmm. My heart's pumping. <laughs> yes. Continue. Just doubting myself. Yes. How old are you there? I'd say I'm in my early 20s. 20s. Very good. Yes. And what else is happening as everybody's looking at you and they you're scared to talk and what else is happening? I feel like everyone's judging me. Yes. I feel like I feel like everyone's going to say something wrong about me. That's it, yeah. <sighs> And at that moment, what are your physical reactions? Oh, goodness. My, my shoulders are tense. My heart's pumping. My throat is, 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 is just not, yeah. not talking. I, I, I can't. I'm stuck. I feel like I can't That's move. Very good. I cannot move. And... When you feel your shoulder tense, your heart pumping, your throat, and you cannot move, what are your emotional reactions? Mm. I just feel like I feel I just doubt myself so yeah. much. Yes. Can't say anything. I feel I feel I, I just shut down and I have yes. to. Smile and pretend I'm okay, but I'm not. That's it. Very good. What are your mental reactions when you doubt yourself? And you can say... <sighs> what are your mental reactions? Mentally, I just... I just... I just... Yes. Just don't say anything. I just, I just mentally just tell myself, oh, you know, yeah. you know that you're no good. That you just, you're, you, you, you need to stay quiet because you don't. Anything you say is just gonna sound dumb. <laughs> Very good. So now I'm going to count from five to one. And I want you to go back to another moment where you felt exactly the same way. Your shoulders tense, your heart pumping, your throat, down to yourself, you cannot move, and you cannot say anything. Go back, five, four, three, two, and one. If you knew, where are you now? Yes. That's it. I feel like I'm outside. Outside, very good. Continue. I feel like there's kids around me. Kids around me, yes. These kids are just laughing at me. Yes. How old are you there? Maybe yeah. six or seven. Six or seven. How do people call you there? Yes, how do people call you? Um, how does your mom, your father call you? Uh, Yes. Maybe Aria. Aria, very Aria. good. Aria, Aria. Yes. Continue. What else is happening? 
these kids around you, they're laughing at you. <clears throat> and if you knew, why are they laughing? What makes them laugh about you? Yes. You can look at your feet, what are you wearing? Just wearing sandals. Sandals, very good. What are you dressing? Yes. Yes, I'm in a dress. Take a look at the color of your skin. What color is it? Yes. Continue. Uh, Take a look at your arms. What color is your skin? I guess it's white, like lighter skin. Lighter skin. Very good. So continue. The kids are laughing at you. What else is happening? Yes. Continue. That's it, continue. Mm. Just feel everything. Yes. They're just laughing at me. Yes. I don't. Not exactly why my mom's telling me to come in. Yes. Continue. A little bit more. Continue. How do you feel when they laugh about you? Laugh at, at you? I'm embarrassed. Embarrassed, yes. Shamed. Shamed. Now I am going to come from three to one, Maria. And I want you to move forward to the next important event in that life. Three, two, and one. You are there now. My chest is heavy. Very good. So your chest is heavy. What is happening around you, Aria? If you know, what is happening? Yes. Continue. That's it. Continue. If you know, where are you now? Where do you feel you are? Yes. That's it. Continue. Yes. Your chest is heavy. You don't know what else. You don't know what else. And this is in the life of Aria? Yeah, I think so. Yes. And if you know Aria, what is happening to your chest? If you know. It's just heavy. It feels feel like I'm having trouble breathing. Maybe. Breathing, very good. How old are you there? Yes. Yes, feel that. Feel that you cannot breathe. How old are you there?
continue. I want to say I'm an adult. Yes, very good. And if you know where are you, you're not able to breathe and <clears throat> your chest is heavy. Yes. That's it. That's it. Continue. That's it. Continue. What is happening? Continue. Yes. Can you repeat? I just feel that I'm. Yes. Very. Maybe sick. That's it. Continue. Keep feeling everything. Yes. Yes. And if you know what is happening to your body, what do you have? What sickness? Yes. Continue. A little bit more. Continue. Yes. And where are you? Are you feeling all of this? I think I'm alone. I'm alone. Mm -hmm. That's it. Continue. What else is happening? Yes. A little bit more. Allow your body to feel everything. Continue. Yes. That's it. If you know what is happening to your body, continue. That's it. Continue. Yes, continue. What is happening? Yes. I just feel like I'm alone. I'm alone, yes. There's no one around me. Yes, continue. And what else is happening? There's nobody's around. You feel alone. You have issues breathing. Continue. Yes. That's it. Continue. Continue. Do you think this is a time where your body dies? I think it's on its way. It's on its way. You let me know when it is out of the body, when you're out of that body, allow that body to die. Yes. Continue. That's it. Continue. Continue. Yes. Yes. A little bit more. Continue. Yes. That's it. A little bit more. Once you're ready, allow that body to die and leave that body. Yes. That's what is happening, happening every year. Continue. Move forward to the time you leave that body. Yes. And I'm going to count from three to one. And I want you to go to the beginning of that experience, of that life, to see how this all started for you, Aria. Allow your body to feel everything it needs to feel. Three, 
two, and one. You're there now. How does this start for you, Solaria? Uh, Continue. Wow, my arms feel so heavy. Yes, yes. I want to see how you got to that place, How you, why your body died that way. What happened to you? The moment before you got to that place where you felt your chest heavy. Wow, my arms, they feel so heavy. Yes. I can't lift them up. Oh, my God. Yes, and if you knew, why is, why is that? What is happening to your arms? I can't lift. Um, it feels I, so tight. Someone's if, something. Yes. Something's holding on to them. Very good. Feel that more now. And if you knew, what's holding your arms? Oh my God! It's like something holding them. Something yes. tightening them. Yes. Like Someone, what? Something's grabbing onto them. Yes. Maybe some chains. It That's just, it. Very my good. Arms feel so heavy. Oh my yes. God! Very <laughs> I can't good. Move them. Yes. And as you feel these chains and as you kind of move your arms, if you know, where are you? Which place is this? That's I'm scared. It. I'm scared, yes. Oh my goodness, I'm so scared. Yes. Where are you? As you kind of move your arms. Yes. I wish I could tell you, but I don't know. Oh, feel are you inside, outside? Day, night, feel, hear, listen. Yes. Yes. Continue. Yes. Where do you feel you are? Yes. Oh my God, my arm, my hands feel so warm. Yes, that's good. That is good. I want you to feel where you are. Are you standing, lying down, sitting? Yes. I need you to tell me everything that is happening. Yes. Continue. Yes. Feel where you are. I feel like yes. Someone's like or something. Something's like on my arms, and I just can't move them. Very good. Are you standing, sitting, or lying down? <laughs> I almost feel like yes. Like I'm standing. Standing. Very good. I think. So I'm going to move, I want you to move back to the moment before you go to that place. The moment before they held your arms that way. Three, two, or one, you're there now. If you know, where are you now? This is before they're restricting your arms. Yes, if you know, and even if you think you're making it up, where are you now? Tell. Yes, just feel. I'm almost there. My arms, oh my goodness. Yes. What do you feel you are? This is before they restrict your arms. Yeah, who's doing this to me? I don't know. And you see them? <sighs> yes. See what is happening. Continue. This is before you went to that day, you go to that place where your arms are restricted. What is happening? Continue. I feel like I, I someone put Chains on me. Chains on you, right. And if you knew, 
Why have they put chains on you? I want you to find out. Go back. Three, two, one. You're there now. Why have they put chains on you? Continue. Always as if you know. Yes. I guess I did something wrong. That's it. Very good. Yeah, and if you know, what is it that you did? Go back, find out. Three, two, one. You're there now. Yes. What have you done? Just feel. Continue. Continue. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you know, what have you done? Yes. What do you feel you have done? Yes. I feel like I, I don't think I did anything wrong. Yes, but they are blaming you for something. What are they blaming you for? Mm. Yes. Continue. What are you being blamed for? Now my legs feel heavy. I don't know what they blame me for. I guess I did something wrong. Yes. So if you check that life, what has been the most difficult moment of that life? I feel like I was a prisoner. Very good. Like someone just, I was in here for some time. I did yeah. some time for something. I don't know why. Yes, and at that moment that you're a prisoner, what are your physical reactions? <laughs> I'm yes. confined. I'm, yes. in, I'm in one place. That's very good. I'm in a cell almost. Yes. That... Everything looks stone. Yes. And when you find you feel confined on a cell with stone, what are your emotional reactions? I didn't do anything wrong. Yes. I didn't do anything wrong. Very good. <laughs> and if you feel you didn't do anything wrong, what are your mental reactions? I'm going to be in here forever and I'm not going to have yes. any any freedom my freedom yes. is gone i can't say anything yes why is it that you cannot say anything i'm scared yes they won't let me say anything also i can't i just it just yes my right to say anything is taken away See. Now I want you to see how this all is affecting your life. As now, I mean, when you say I'm confined, I'm in a cell with stones. I didn't do anything wrong. I will be here forever. I have no freedom. I cannot say anything. How is this all affecting your life? What does that make you do? I I imprison myself. Yes. I I I don't. I don't say anything I, I because I'm so scared. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm in a cell. Yes. And when you do that, what does that prevent you from doing? 
Just, just talking to people, being myself. I feel like I have to be someone that I'm not sometimes, and I don't like it. That's it. Uh, so now I am going to count from three to one. I want you to allow your body to feel everything it needs to feel in order to complete this experience forever. I want you to go to the moment when you start feeling this pressure in your chest and your arms heavy and you cannot breathe. Three, two, one. You are there now. So feel this heaviness in your, heaviness in your chest. What is the chest feeling? Yes. What are the lungs feeling? Yes. It's just heavy. Yes. yes. What are the arms feeling? I also feel heavy. Just heavy. Just, yes. I can't move them at all. Yes. Feel your throat. What is the throat feeling? <sighs> Like it's just I can't use my throat. I don't know if that That's makes sense, it. but just yes. I, I, I feel like start like I stutter and I, I can't. Yes, feel all of that. What is the brain feeling? Block. What is the last thought you're able to think in that brain? Like, yes. like I guess I'm not good enough for. Yes. yes. What is the heart feeling? Sad, heavy, Sad and just heavy. depressed, and. Yeah. Just sad. As once you are ready, just allow that body to die. Understanding that with the death of that body, that experience is over forever. And none of this belongs to you anymore. Yes, let that body die now. Let me know once you are out of the body. My arms are feeling a little lighter. Yes. Now I want you to talk to the ones that killed you, to the ones that put you in that cell, to the ones that put those chains. You can tell them whatever you want to tell them. What would you like to tell them? You ruined my life. I didn't do anything wrong. You shut me up. You, you didn't let me talk. You didn't let me say what I wanted to say. Yes. You left me in there to rot, to die. Yes. Ask them to give you your energy back, the energy they stole from you when they killed you that way. I give it back. Give me back my right to talk. That's to, it. To say something. Yes. Give it back. Give it back, please. Yes, and just get your energy back, your right to talk, and put it back in your soul and in your throat. Yes. And I'll just forgive them for being ignorant. forgive them because they were not able to touch your soul you didn't know any better I guess yes. I, 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 that is correct I forgive you I yes. you know I, I, I hope yes. that you can find the light and just 
I, I forgive you. There we go. Thank you for giving it back to me. There we go. Getting your energy back. And now, what do you think you had to learn in that life? Yes. What do you have to learn in that life? Yes, if you know. Continue. What do you think you had to learn? I can break free. But you I can know. break free, yes. But... Yes, no check. You're going to come back as Naomi. Is anybody going to imprison Naomi or change her, put her in a cell? Is anybody going to do that in this life? No. No, so she's free. She can speak, she can get with people. Nobody's going to judge her. That life is over. That belongs to that body, not to this one, right? Yes. So let's remove all of those issues from this one so that she can get, I mean, socialize and get close to people. Nobody's going to judge her. Nobody's telling her she's done anything wrong. No need to be afraid. That belongs to the body that just died, not to this one. Yeah. Yeah, so once it's you, true. Yes, absolutely. Now it's all in her mind. She needs to open the prison that she built in her mind. Yes. Um, once once you are ready, just take your soul to the light. You let me know once it is there. I think I'm there. I think I've released a lot. There we go. I'm going to ask your soul to go to wherever it needs to go to continue healing today. Let's see where he wants to go. I will count from five to one. <clears throat> five, four, three, two, and one. If you know, where are you now? Yes. Yes, continue. continue. I think I'm at a beach. I'm at a beach, yes. Or somewhere near water. Okay, very good. Somebody male or female? Female. Female. Continue. What is happening? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. I think I'm swimming. I'm swimming. Very good. Continue. I'm in water. Yes. Feels so nice to be in water. Yes. Very good. 
just swim, enjoy. Yeah, I feel like I'm floating and just, just, just water. Feels so yes. nice. Yes. <laughs> Continue. Very good. Move forward a little bit more. Yes. Continue. I feel like I'm underwater. I'm underwater, yes. You know, what is happening underwater? Yes. Oh no, I can't see the, the top. You can see the top? Yeah, I can't I can't feel where I'm going. You cannot feel where you're going, okay. Uh, yes, continue. I feel like I'm swimming and I, I can't get anywhere. Yes. Continue. I'm starting to panic. Yes, feel everything. Continue. Mm. That's it. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, my arms feel heavy again. And, yeah. Mm. Yes. Wow. Continue. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so as you're underwater, continue. What else is happening? Mm. Yes. I think I feel people around me. I you think. feel people around you. I right? believe so. Yes. Continue. Are those people swimming with you? I don't know. I feel like they're drowning. They're drowning too? Yeah. I feel like they're, like they're scared. They're yelling. They're screaming. Yes. Continue. Mm -hmm. Yes. Feel everything. Mm -hmm. They're not, oh my God, they're like yes. drowning. Yes. <laughs> Continue. And why are you with them while they are drowning? I, yes. I feel, I feel like we were in a, in a boat. Mm, yeah, that's it. Continue. Uh, a boat or a ship. Yes. And yes. Move forward a little bit more to see what happens. Oh. Yeah, my body just feels heavy. My yeah. feet, my legs, my arms, everything feels heavy. Yeah. Feel tired, like I'm swimming and I'm swimming and I can't yeah. get anywhere. That's you feel all of that. Continue. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yes. Continue. What happens next? Yes. What is happening now? <sighs> yes. I think I'm, I, I'm passing away. I'm passing away. Yeah, so I'm after just too tired to swim, so I just let myself go. Yes, let yourself go then. So up to here, what what has been the most difficult moment of this experience. That I couldn't save other people. Yes. That other people died and I wish I could have save them. So at that moment when you could not save those people, what are your physical reactions? I let them down. 
Oh my God. Like physical reactions. I, I feel. Yes. Just feel like I let them down. Yes, and what are your emotional reactions? I blame myself for them, for their death, for, for that. I just blame myself. So what are your mental reactions that you blame yourself? Disappointed. Yes. Disappointed in myself and so upset at myself. But it's my fault that they had passed and that they died this kind of way. Yes. Uh, but I myself couldn't save myself. <laughs> Uh, now, I want you to see how this all is affecting your life as now. I mean, when, when you feel you, when you're saying I let them down, I blame myself, I'm disappointed in myself, and I feel it is my fault. What does that make you do in your life as now? I easily feel like I need to save everybody yes. from. I need to save everybody from their sadness and depression mm. and anxiety and I need to be there for people and I need to sacrifice myself to be for there for yes. people. And when you do this, what does that prevent you from doing? From doing what I want to do. From preventing me from just just Doing things that meeting my goals and yes. and accomplishing things I want to accomplish and look, yeah. going on my own journey instead of focusing on other people. Yeah. And that's not good. I, I I've made so many sacrifices. So now I'm I'm going to come from three to one. I want you to allow your body to feel everything it needs to feel. I want you to go back to the moment your body starts to drown. Allow yourself to complete this experience forever. Three, two, one. You're there now. Feel the body is drowning. What are the legs feeling? Okay. So what are the arms feeling? <sighs> What are, what are the lungs feeling? Yeah. Trying to trying yes. to breathe. Yes, try to what is the throat feeling as you're trying to breathe? I, I can't say anything. I, I can't, can't yell. Any, yes. Because I'm already yes. dying. What what is the brain feeling as you're dying? My life is over. My life is over and what is the heart feeling? Just sad and, and sad. And sad. Just, just so, very sad. Yes. So once you're ready, let that body die now and leave that body. <laughs> And now understand that with the death of the body, that's it, this experience is over and none of this belongs to you anymore. Mm -hmm. Just talk to the soul of those people that drowned with you. Explain to them that you tried. And by trying to help them, you drown yourself. Mm -hmm. Explain to them that this is not your fault. Talk to them. Sorry that I let you drown. But I had to also try to keep myself alive, but I couldn't. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes. I wish you. I could have saved. 
No, I want you to see when you say this, it is my fault. It is my fault. What does that make you do in your life as Naomi? Mm. Yes. This makes me makes me upset that I and it makes me blame myself That's for it. everybody. Yes. And I want to save everybody. Yes. But I can't. I can't. I've realized that I cannot. I have to let go. That's it. What do you think you had to learn in that life? To, that I learned that I have to let go. That's it. There we go. Yeah. So I must allow Naomi to understand that she needs to let go. She has no control on people. She doesn't need to sacrifice herself anymore. She's not responsible. Yeah. This is not her fault. Yes. yes. Now I'm going to ask you to do something else. I want you to vomit that water that got into your lungs. I want you to cough and expel that water that got into your lungs. I start coughing that water now. <laughs> Take it out of your lungs. <coughs> yes, I want you to vomit that water. Yes, take it out. <coughs> Start coughing. That's it. Continue. <coughs> Continue. <coughs> That's it. <coughs> take it out of your lungs and breathe now. You're able to breathe. Now. That's it. Get all that water out. Don't <coughs> take it out. So your throat is clear now. You're able to breathe. You're able to speak with no issues now. Yes. Yes, and once you are ready, once you are ready, take your soul to the light and get the energy, your energy from that body and take it to the soul, to the light, I'm sorry. And then let me know once you're there. Very good. Are you in the light already? Yeah. And ask those other souls to follow you. Take them to the light with you. And coming lighter. Very good. Let me know once you're in the light. I think I'm there. Very good. And now I want you to pick a color, pick a frequency. What color would you like to use today? Green. Green. I want you to use the green frequency and start putting that green frequency all over your body, starting from the top of your head. And we're also going to harmonize your chakras, allowing the green frequency to go through your brain, removing any blockages, allowing that green frequency to go 
through your throat, clearing that throat so that you can speak yourself, so that you can speak your truth and beat yourself. Allow the green frequency to go through your heart and your lungs, removing any water. You can breathe normally now. Harmonizing your chakras and allowing the green frequency to go through your solar plexus, your arms, making them light, and your legs, so that you can move them now. You're not chained anymore. You're not drowning anymore. Allowing your body to vibrate completely in the green frequency, your body covered in the green frequency. There. In a moment, I am going to count from one to five. And as I count, I want you to start going up the stairs because we're going to come back. With each step, you're going to feel lighter, happier, refreshed, with renewed purpose. One, start coming up, feeling lighter and wonderful and happy. Two, disconnect feelings, emotions, and thoughts from anything that doesn't serve your purpose anymore. Three, keep coming back. Pronoun, you're not going to feel anxious around people. Nobody's judging you. That belongs to a different body. You are not chained. You're going to speak your truth now. You can be confident. You will not be afraid of water because you're not going to drown again. You're not going to be depressed. You're going to forgive your mama, have a beautiful life ready for when you have your kids. Four, every night you put your head on the pillow, you will sleep peacefully until the next day. And when you wake up in the morning, you will feel totally rested and refreshed, super happy, ready to come back as the happiest woman in the universe. And five, open your eyes little by little now. Welcome back. Mm. How do you feel? Wow. I feel so much lighter. Lighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My it's, hands feel so warm. <laughs> it's good, good, good. Do you remember everything we talked about? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I do. Good. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Yes. So today, and um, just this is for your recording, today is June 18th, 2021, right? Mm-hmm. And I think we find we found the origin of all the symptoms that you mentioned when you started the session, the issue with the water and anxiety and feeling judged, uh, feeling this anxiety getting around people, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. And there's this issue with your mom and all of that is there. Oh, yes, definitely. Yes, I can feel just my mother looking at me with this angry, like, feeling and, Mm. like, you know, very upset. And I just felt this heaviness. Like, I just took it so personally. And, and, oh, my God. You don't have to do anything with you, you see? Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, you feel like you internalize all these problems. and, and Right. And this anger and, and this just just the dynamics that were going on at the time. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's good. Mm-hmm. So I'm going yes. to start the recording. I always ask people if they're interested in sharing their session. Some people say yes, but you can blur my face or whatever. But the session is for you. If you don't want to share, that's totally okay. You don't need to decide now. But mm-hmm. in any case, it's a very interesting session because you felt a lot of you were not that visual at the beginning, but you felt everything, you know, mm-hmm. and, and, and yeah. in, in the life of that woman, you felt everything. And, and um, even when you were drowning or when you were in chains, yes. you, know, you felt everything. So mm-hmm. if you're willing to do that, you let me know, but I'll stop the recording for now. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. I'll stop this. Mm-hmm.